Right now, we're about to enter the Johto villain arc. Actually, hang on one second. Let me actually double check to see if there's a... Um, Rocket execs assemble. Is there a... There's probably not a... Uh, not a cutscene for this. But anyway, resuming operations. Hope you don't get any, uh, don't any, any bugs? Any bugs? Have, okay. I didn't realize there were going to be bugs involved. I was hoping that, uh, thinking for cutscenes specifically, I hope those bugs aren't a thing. <laughs> yeah, y'all remember when Red just decided, screw it. I'm just gonna wreck the whole place. Who <laughs> just went, went ballistic. Dynamax. Shiny Cantonian Ninetales. Yeah, sh oh my gosh. Yes, yes. I've hatched like three shiny Vulpix for no good reason like over the past 48 hours. How does that keep happening? Without a doubt, it is a tremendous power. Strong enough to topple anything in its path. Good question, Biz. <laughs> this island certainly continues to intrigue me. Look who it is! Oh, here we go. Oh my god. Proton! I don't know why. I wasn't expecting Proton to look like that. Pro <laughs> he looks taller and more muscular than I originally uh, pictured him. I just evolved my shiny Vulpix and Masters. Neat, Travis. Yes, shiny Cantonian Ninetales is gorgeous. So gorgeous. Like with the gray and the blue eyes, just mwah. Oh no, I don't know what uh, voice I want to give this guy. Alrighty, River, thank you so much for popping on by. Catch you next time. Some you later. Uh, if a bug Pokemon caused that for me, then maybe. Um, thank you so much for uh, the follow and for joining in the raid, River. Um, have a wonderful, wonderful rest and sweet dreams. Uh, what voice do I give Archer? Um, boss. Bo maybe something a little higher? Boss. The executives of Team Rocket are all present and accounted for. Does that work? I don't know. <sighs> the the exec nope. The executives of Team Rocket are all present and accounted for. <laughs> it's an honor to be at your service again, sir. Uh huh. Uh, so <laughs> your wish is our command. Just say the word. You're looking sharp as ever, boss. Anyone else imagine Guzma with an accent from New York or New Jersey? Yeah, yeah, Guzma specifically. Yeah, um, I always give a, a like, it's your boy Guzma, something like that. Uh, let's just destroy everything. I don't know, something like that. I, 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 I picture him similarly. So you all made it here. I'm sure you're aware of our situation. We're going to launch an operation to take control of the entire island of Passio. Listen. In order to do that, we need more strength. A new kind of power, in fact. Get ready. I have much work for you to do. Uh, -huh. uh yes, sir! I don't know. Like, what voice does would Archer get? <laughs> First, I have something I need to finish. Soon, all of Passio will be under the control of Team Rocket. <laughs> A Chad voice? <laughs> oh, we got Lance. We <laughs> double ho -oh. with Karen and Will. I love doing the accent when he uses a sync move. Your boy. Your boy's ex scissor. Yep. Y'all are stupid. Uh, today's the day I pay you back for all the times you've beaten me. Come on, ho oh. Don't hold back. Duh. Sorry, but that's not going to happen just yet. Dragonite, counter their attack! 
Guy, could you imagine Toby? Oh my gosh, that would be a really cool match, Ace. Great battle. You almost had us. It doesn't matter. A loss is a loss. I do it kind of like you did, but instead of going up with the pitch, it goes down. Uh, well... The y'all are stupid. I don't know, something like that? Your boy is Exisa. It's your boy Guzma. I don't know. That was marvelous. Still, that was really close. There were a bunch of moments where even I was worried. Really? I couldn't tell at all. I mean, she managed to say cool and collected. Yes. Well, if we let it show, we'd just be revealing to you what our weaknesses are. <laughs> exactly. You know, your team did an excellent job working together. It took Zatu and Umbreon working together just to deal with Feraligator's strength. Incredible. And I could hardly find an opening with that teamwork your two Ho-Oh were show- Bro, you had two Ho-Oh and you lost? <laughs> I mean, granted, Dragon does resist fire, but still. <laughs> Hear that, Silver? Sounds like we make a pretty decent team. <sighs> I'll get you back for this eventually. You'd better be ready for when I come back for another rematch. Hello? Excuse me. Who? Paolo! How sus are you feeling today? Yeah. Oh, it's you. What's up? Please? I'd like to ask you a question, Silver. I heard from Ethan that when you two first met, you were the kind of guy who'd do anything to get stronger. Things like stealing other people's Pokémon. Feeling super sussy indeed. Yeah, what are you up to? And why are you suggesting- are you even entertaining the thought of stealing other people's Pokémon? Sorry. Paolo, maybe you should- yeah, seriously, don't bring up somebody's, like, sus past. Hey. Wait, Lance. Yeah, I did it. What of it? Please? I was wondering why you changed your mind. You were doing things that way because you felt it would make you stronger, right? If you'd kept going down that path, don't you think you might have come out stronger for it? Oh, I see. I'm not sure. Back then, I thought that I could be the strongest trainer, as long as I had the strongest Pokémon. But even when I had the strongest Pokémon, there were still people I couldn't beat. That's why I changed. I still don't completely understand why I lost back then. But I think I'm starting to get it now. Does that have to do with relying on others? Or maybe... connections? Yeah. At the very least, a strong connection with your Pokémon is a must. That said, I hate weak trainers who think they're big and tough as long as they're in a group. My bad. I see. Thanks, Silver. Sorry for asking that out of the blue. <laughs> Don't sweat it. It's fine. Giovanni also mentioned something about connections. Which means, as long as I have a connection, I can use any means necessary to get stronger? No. 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 Just no. Hmm. <laughs> Is that a Togepi? No. No, Will. That's a Gyarados. I don't see a trainer around. Why is it all alone? Hey! Hold on! It looks like it's in pain! Who would hurt a Togepi? I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> okay, all right, okay. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Is it Dynamaxing? Well, there are no wild Pokemon on Passio, Travis. Okay, all right, sure, why not? Just, yeah, okay. <laughs> what? Dana oh challenge proton um uh uh um uh, um uh a fart i um i don't know uh i'm going to just optimize this i guess Dana na bom 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 uh is there a bonus no no cool okay i'm just going to Cool, I'm just gonna rock slide everyone real quick. 
Is Eternatus back? Well, like, Eternatus is with Cygnus and Leon at this point, right? Da -na 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 -na. Whoa, Proton's, uh... Oh, wait. I forgot that uh, Blue does not have a uh, freaking... Casually ignores my joke. Hang on, hang on. Is Eternatus back? Casually ignores my joke. Was was, was there was was there a joke in there that I I missed? I'm sorry if I didn't get it. <laughs> da 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 da. Ba I mean, if there was a joke in there, let me know. <laughs> On my own, pretending she he's beside me. Delay made me think you missed it. Oh, okay. All right. Sorry about that. Why? What was up with that Togepi just now? It Dynamaxed out of nowhere. And then it just scampered away right after we took it down. Hmm. Did you see how pained it looked right after it approached us? Hmm. I've seen something like this before. Yeah. With Eternatus. Oh, okay. So we are bringing up Eternatus. The, the, this is basically what happened last time when we uh, had Sigma Suit Leon. Yeah, when Eternatus came to Passio, it made a lot of other Pokémon Dynamax all of a sudden. Uh -huh. Everything was really chaotic because nobody knew what was causing it. But didn't Leon solve the problem by catching Eternatus? <laughs> yeah, that's what we thought. But if this is happening again, something else must be wrong. Yeah. That Togepi looked like it was having a rough time. I have a question! What is your question, Biz? I may be able to answer it. I think it was being forced to Dynamax, even though it didn't want to. Hmm. hmm. Let's go to Professor Bellis's lab and figure out what to do next. Ah, we got a Team Rocket Grunt! Someone stored Eternatus' energy. Yeah, basically Eternatus' energy, like, spread throughout Passio, making it similar to Galar, in which you are able to Dynamax your Pokémon. So the, re the redeems there is Duolingo. So you do Duolingo, but one language. Um, so, I have, I'm currently working on Chinese, German, uh, uh, French, uh, Japanese, I also have Korean, Hawaiian, and Celtic. I've been focusing mainly on Chinese, so if we do Duolingo, um, I'm probably gonna do, uh, Chinese. Um, with that said, I would prefer not to do Duolingo right now, because we are in the middle of a story, but if you redeem it, I'll do it after we, uh, finish the story event. Um, so you saw a Dynamax Pokémon? Yeah. Yeah. Karen, Will, and Morty decided to stay there so they can keep an eye on things. Excuse me, what? Actually, I've already received reports of similar incidents happening. Hmm? Really? Yes? Not a lot, but they're on the rise. I already have red and blue on the case, as I thought we should do something soon before it gets out of hand. It was an interesting conversation in that it was very one-sided and blue did a lot of talking. Yeah, no, I don't redeem it now. I will do so another time. Understood, Biz. I'll be happy to, uh, I'll be happy to do it. Whenever you are redeem it. I'm pretty sure I know who's behind all of this too. Hey. It's Team Rocket, isn't it? They were spying on us earlier. Aki redeems drink up me Artie's Yoho. Um We got Giovanni and Nido King drink up me Hardy's Yoho. When you redeem that I have to sing drink up me Artie's Yoho. Thank you for the redemption, Aki! Yes? They've been spotted lurking around whenever a Dynamax Pokémon is reported. Hmm. Yo ho, yo ho! A master's life for me! Ha! <laughs> Got him. Uh, they don't seem to have any control of those Pokémon, right? Hey! Oh wait! So that means... Hmm. They're just forcing the Pokémon to Dynamax! Yeah! Yeah, that's what I was thinking! I once saw Gyarados that had evolved because Team Rocket forced it. It went on a rampage and looked like it was in a lot of pain. Team Rocket doesn't care about Pokémon, they just use them as tools. No way. I won't let them get away with this. Excuse me, moi. What are you doing, Silver? <laughs> I'm doing this on my own. Hey. You don't want to come with us? Why are you like this, Silver? Why do you gotta be Shadow the Hedgehog all the time? Yeah. I'm not a fan of teaming up. I don't want to be like Team Rocket. They're just a bunch of weaklings who can't do anything on their own. 
We we need a we need a we need a character arc for you, Silver. What's up with him? He seemed a little on edge. Let him go. The rest of us can team up. Hey! Sure, but where do we even start? I love how Chris is getting like a big role in this. Oh, I know someone you can ask for help. <laughs> She's a Pokemon professor from Galar, home of the Dynamax phenomenon. Sonia? Or it would be cool. Well, we don't have we haven't had Professor Magnolia in like the uh, in like the character model drops, so maybe not Professor Magnolia, but it's definitely Sonia. I'm actually gonna switch out uh, blue for um. Where are you? There you are. Aim for victory. All aboard! Um, and then I'll go ahead and uh, switch out you. And you know what? I'm also gonna bring in, um, freaking what's his face? Mm, Ingo. All aboard. All right. Um, hopefully just a few rock slides to do the trick with this dude. Like, I don't level him by a lot, so. Do 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 do. Yeah, so just one rock slide does the trick. I'm glad to hear it. Because I don't want to have to, like, spend too much time on battles this, uh, this stream. How are we already 45 minutes in? Wow! Alright, it's 4.52. I still have time. I still have time. The cruelest and scariest. Are we really meeting her here? Yeah. Yeah, Professor Sonia is from the Gather region, and she's done research on the Dynamax phenomenon. That's why we'd like to ask her about what's going on, but we're worried that Team Rocket might overhear our conversations if we meet we meet up with her in town. I yeah, PM Biz. I see. So that's why you chose such a secluded area deep in the woods. Yeah. Exactly. Will went to fetch the professor, so there shouldn't be any risk of her getting kidnapped along the way either. We also had Chris stay with Professor Bellis, so we know she'll be safe too. Right. We won't make the same mistakes we did last time. This time we're going to finish the job. <laughs> yeah, I, I know, Biz. Time zones are weird. Hey. Sorry to keep you waiting. Hello, Sonia. Hey. Professor Sonia. <sighs> we got lost a few times. It's dark around here, so everything looks the same. Thank you. Thanks for bringing her here, Will. No problem. Did you bring the thing I asked you about, Professor? <laughs> yep, I managed it somehow. This machine is something I've been working on for a while now, but since you needed it, I was able to complete it in record time. Right. Ta-da! I call it the Dynamax Sync Pair Power Spot Detector. That's a mouthful. Can we, like... Shorten that to DS, DSPPSD, the, or the, for short. What a, yeah, what a tongue twister. Pulling a climb on there, yeah. What does it do? Hey. It detects spots where Gala particles are showing increased activity. <laughs> the DPPPS. Uh, in other words, it's able to find Pokemon that are on the verge of Dynamaxing. Oh, really? So if we go to the spot showing the most activity, there's a good chance that's where Team Rocket Hideout is located. Yeah. Exactly. What, did we lose the Team Rocket? Well, <laughs> actually, that makes sense. Red and Snorlax kind of destroyed the last hideout. <laughs> Not bad. That's amazing, Professor Sonia. I can't believe you put this together in such a short amount of time. <laughs> I may look a bit rough around the edges, but I can assure you, it's got pinpoint accuracy! Right! Okay, let's give it a go then. Where's the on switch? You've made quite an annoying machine, I see. Who we got? Which of the, which of the executives is it? Hold on a tick! Who's there? Bum, bum, proton! Hold on, hang on. I have no idea what voice to give this guy. Our boss is busy running a- no? Our boss is busy running a grand experiment. 
We can't let you interfere with that. Not another step. I am Proton, an executive of Team Rocket. I won't let you flip that switch. He's so cool. Oh my gosh, Proton! He's so cool! A Chad voice. Right, right, right. You're so right. I guess you were followed, Professor. Huh? What? Me? Yes. Well, I actually did notice. And you didn't say a word, Will? Whoa. Really? Uh. But I felt it would be smarter if we dealt with it once we got back together with the group. He wasn't showing any signs of attacking at the time. So this mighty Team Rocket executive just tailed you instead of facing you head-on in battle? How spineless. What's the deal? Excuse me, what you just say? You'll be sorry once Proton gets serious and takes you out in a second. We'll beat you to the ground and send you home in tears. Sorry, but we're in a hurry. Why, you? I'll have to ask you to leave. Don't expect any mercy. Chad voice it is. Let's do this. Bum, 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 bum. Is Proton really gonna get Golbat like as a as a sync pair? Because we That was a hyper beam for the ages. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I still bought us some time. Now, I don't expect you to understand the grand mission our boss is going to accomplish anyway. Wow, that was such a disappointing introduction to Proton, I'm not gonna lie. Proton's a Team Rocket executive, and it wasn't just all talk. Yes. Yeah, Team Rocket is definitely getting stronger again. No problem. They're a dangerous bunch. I'll stay with Professor Sonia for extra protection, just in case. Right. Okay, then the rest of us should find their hideout before it's too late. I mean, that's part of the course for Pokemon Masters, Aki. Like, when it comes to those cutscenes, they do tend- the battles do tend to happen off-screen. Especially when it's not, like, the big ones. Like, I imagine when we, uh, get to Giovanni, he's going to, like, absolutely, like- we're, we're going to show that battle on-screen to some regard. I'll take care of this. So, yeah, I guess Proton really is just going to, like, uh, pair up with, uh, with Golbat. Really? Like, what would you- what would you think, uh, would be the ideal sync pairs for the Team Rocket executives? Which, I hope get dropped next month, honestly. I really hope they get dropped next month. Like, as playable, uh, characters. Infiltrate the Rocket Hideout! Mmm... Ugh. <clears throat> the hideout is here? Of all places? Yeah. According to the machine, yeah. Hmm. I wonder if Silver's here already. I mean, Morty's like, um... Morty's intuition is pretty... usually tends to be correct. He might have already infiltrated the hideout. I told him what we know. Let's let him decide how he wants to go about it. So the reason I give Lance a British accent is because, like, whenever I, like, read Lance's dialogue, for some reason I always, like, think of a Tom Hiddleston voice. I don't know why. And I can't do a very good Tom Hiddleston impression. Oh! Well, we found him! Dude, Silver in this game is the same VA as Claude from- Really?! <laughs> We've been waiting for you. In Johto, they had Grimers, Coughing, Zubats, Ekans, and their evolution. True, hmm. Well, Weezing, Crobat, and Arbok are already taken. Probably Muck? We've been waiting for you. I must say, I'm a bit surprised you barged in here all on your own. Are you brave? Or just reckless? I'll put that to the test. You shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer! He's not bringing up the fact that this is his son? This guy's voice is everywhere. Ah, fair enough. What's his, uh, what's his name, Biz? You're going down. 
Boom. Joe Z. Joe. But then he doesn't ring a bell. Interesting. What else has he done? <laughs> ha. That was a truly intense fight. You have won. That annoys me too, Aki. And you know what? When Paolo faces off against Giovanni, you have two rocket grunts with Arbok and Weezing, and I'm not okay with it! <laughs> They're not Jesse and James! <laughs> All right. I have little choice, it seems. I will... I will relinquish Passio for... This ain't Ju No, this is... Hang on, what's his face? Who, which one's the guy who loves disguises? Um... Petrol. This is Petrol. But Team Rocket will never fall. Listen. Never forget that all Pokémon exist for Team... This dude is straight up quoting Red and Blue. This is straight up quoting Gen 1. For no good reason whatsoever. Does he not realize that this is Giovanni's kid? You're not fooling anyone. Show's over. Yep, this ain't him. What? Hey. You're Petrol, the Team Rocket executive. Spill it. Where's Giovanni? <laughs> <laughs> I guess my cover is blown! This dude absolutely has a Joker voice. My disguise was perfect. You get props for seeing through it. <laughs> but my losing to you won't change a thing. Okay. That door is locked shut. <laughs> you can try all you like, but it won't open unless I say the password. It only reacts to my voice. Oh, he's Fox. I didn't know that. Don't say the password this time, okay? Counting on you. If you keep quiet, I'll give you a shiny toy ring. Oh, I forgot. I guess you only liked shiny things when you were still a Murkrow, huh? Oh. <laughs> Look at you, all big and strong. It's making me tear up. Okay. Face it, kid. You've hit a dead end. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> Hail Giovanni! <laughs> was that the best? <laughs> that was the best! <laughs> oh my, you doofus! You absolute doofus! <laughs> oh my lord, <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> it was at that moment that he realized he fluffed up. <laughs> oh, my God. Why do you make the password hail Giovanni? <laughs> but I first thought Proton sounded familiar, but then I found out it's someone else. I was curious and found out. Ah, okay, 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 cool. <laughs> Oh man! I got so excited I accidentally shouted out the password! <laughs> Even the Team Rocket Grunts are like, are you serious right now? We screw up less than this dude. And to our friend, you can see the world's biggest idiot. You really don't know when to stop talking. <laughs> no turning back now! I'll stop you before you get to the boss no matter what it takes! Let's do this! Coughing, Ekans, and Nidoran. Egypt, exactly. <laughs> Did you? In the end, you're still resorting to outnumbering your opponent. This is why I hate you guys. But if I waste my time on this, Lance and the others might get to Giovanni first. Giovanni? Huh? Where's that laugh coming from? Oh wait, Koga! Let's go! Ah! It's totally Koga. How long have you been here? <laughs> oh, Koga and Janine, let's go! Silver, we're here to help. You can go on ahead. 
You can count on me. My father and I will take care of everyone here. Let's help each other out. Hold it. I don't need help from anyone. Stop interfering. You. You're the one who's going to take down Giovanni, aren't you? Do you really have the time to waste here? That's a good good point. <laughs> Fine. I kind of wish that they played Koga's uh, Champion Stadium right. theme. Although it, uh, I guess it wouldn't have fit for Janine, so it makes sense that they would play the generic theme. Okay, prepare yourselves. What? This can't be. Oh wait, I dropped a Giovanni disguise already, didn't I? Darn. I guess the best I can do is stop the two of you then. <laughs> you think we'll just let you do that? Let's see how you like Prepare to fall victim to our intricate style and sinister techniques. Our bond as a family will prevail. TBF, Silver really just needs help. Doesn't need help, does he? Uh, uh, is just hanging out with Ho Oh. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We've got you cornered now. Why don't you put an end to this evil nonsense of forcing Pokémon to Dynamax? <laughs> Cornered, you say? I'm afraid you're just a tad too late for that line. Wait, hang on. I'm afraid you're just a tad too late for that line. What? Here he is! Fully decked out in Mafia gear. I love it. Tabuite. Giovanni. Welcome to my hideout, champion. <laughs> he does, but he ain't gonna use it. He ain't gonna use that legendary Pokemon. Oh wait, Silver? Sil yeah, Silver has a legendary Pokemon. And so does Giovanni. Na na na. Oh, Challenge Archer Part 1. See, I called it when people got upset that they got a second Team Rocket theme for the Team Rocket Grunts. I called it that they were going to use a, a Jesse James theme for the uh, executives. Like, it just it's just logical, you know? Take that. Hang on. I'm going to listen to Archer's voice a little bit because it might be give me, give me answers. Giovanni is Mewtwo. What voice do I give Archer? Archer's kind of difficult to pin down. It's a Mega Mewtwo Y on top of that, right? Makes sense, right? One or many. And Mafia Giovanni is Nidoking, yeah. You certainly took your time. Ultra Chad, Archer. I can't do an Ultra Chad. Like, I want to distinguish him from Proton in some way. You've given me enough time to complete my objective. Besides, Archer looks like looks like he'd have more of a tenor like kind of voice. I'm just not sure what what kind of tenor he would have. Your objective. <laughs> a bit slow on the uptake, aren't you? We're talking about Dynamax Sync Bears. The good old time. Times and Mewtwo was such a mystery, ah, oh, right? What? You became a Dynamax Sync Pair? Yeah. Indeed. We're different from those other Pokémon that were Dynamaxing spontaneously all over Paseo. Add a character who also caught Mewtwo, but with a physical moveset and X instead of Y. I wonder, like... I wonder if... What about Green? That would be a pretty cool Pokémon for Green to have. Now I have a Pokémon that will Dynamax on command. <laughs> we conducted some experiments of our own based on Professor Bellis's research materials, and now we have the results. From uh, Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee. Um, it, oh, also from the... No, uh, Leaf is from Pokémon Fire Red, Leaf Green. Um, green is a separate character altogether. I took some inspiration from the sync pairs on Paseo, who wear Sigma suits as well. <laughs> Add- oh, yike. Sorry! <laughs> They're fascinating outfits. By the way, we still not have figured out who is making these Sigma suits. Last time we even mentioned the person who made these Sigma suits, it was just a mysterious designer. Also, I don't know why, but my fingers are getting numb. 
When you wear them, you can feel a stronger connection to your partner Pokémon. Oh no. Wait, so you found another Pokémon willing to accept the malice in your heart, just like Mewtwo did? Time for action. Having trouble accepting that, see for yourself then. Experience the power of the evil that bonds us together. Oh, here we go. Here we go. They're all cosplayers and sold them themselves. Yeah, exactly. Nido King. Dynamax! Bum, bum, bum. Oh! That's a good idea, Aki. That's a good idea. The ground is shaking! This hideout is about to collapse! This is the second Team Rocket hideout that has been destroyed by Dynamax! <laughs> Giovanni was like, If Red can do it, so can I. <laughs> <laughs> hang on, hang on, I'm just going to adjust. <laughs> How glorious! This is the true power of a Dynamax Sync Pair! Such overwhelming strength. This is what I was trying to achieve! Oh no! I can't believe he just destroyed his hideout with a max move! Oh man. Mega Evolution and Dynamax together are unbelievably, unbelievably powerful! Can we talk about Z-moves? Are we ever going to mention Z-moves? Hey. Giovanni had nightmares. That red soul is smaller. Yeah. That reminds me, I should play Let's Go uh, Eevee soon. It's been forever and I never finished it. Yeah, absolutely, Biz. Okay, Giovanni. Try to build your hideouts bigger next time! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Granted, like, Dynamax Pokemon are massive, so I don't know if there's any building that could... Well, aside from the stadiums in, uh, 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 Galar, right? Z moves are just sync moves. Kind of. Sync moves rely on those uh, sync stones, uh, and then Z moves rely on uh, those um, other stones. The uh, I don't remember what they're called. Um, with that said, like sync moves, I'm curious to see if like b because sync moves can be variations, right, of a specific move, whereas Z moves can be involved in a sync can be that move that the, the sync move is a variation of. And I'm very curious to see if they'll ever bring up the fact that Z moves are like, like, like that a sync move can result in a Z move, um, in addition to like Mega Evolution, like Dynamax, because it would be cool to really tie together the gimmicks of Gens 6 through 8 in one like really neat package. Because your character- yeah, 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 Shining Friendship, Sun Rays, Smash, you have, um, Olivia's is the, uh, rock, uh, uh, rock sync move, because, um, uh, and, and then, um, Acerola has, um, the ghost type, uh, Z move, I cannot remember for the life of me, um, Royal, uh, like, ah, man, I don't remember the Z move names, I hate that, um, and I know, um, I believe Mallow and, oh, um, uh, Elio and, uh, Primarina have Oceanic Operetta, right? Um, Sophocles and Howe both have Giga Voltavic. Uh, light, yeah, Loving Light That Burns the Sky. I've seen that sync move so many times. I really want them to show that Z moves, like, Z moves have some relation to uh, sync moves, uh, in like to the sync stones in sp specifically, because that would be a really cool way to tie it together. Perhaps we can wait for the Alola villain arc, you know? <laughs> I see you're incapable of doing anything by yourself, as always. What? Silver! What a joke. Those trainers took out your horde of grunts earlier, so their Pokémon were already tired. You think you can talk big after beating an opponent that's already been weakened for you? So Giovanni now prefers to use Nidoking over Mewtwo? I imagine he would use them in conjunction. That is simply what an organization does. Indeed, bringing together individuals is more efficient and allows you to wield much more power. 
There's no reason why we shouldn't make use of such power. Do you not understand that, child? Big talk for cowards who can't do anything without Giovanni around. Face it, you're just too weak to work alone. I'm sad that the first Dark Gym Leader is the only Dark Gym Leader who can't use their region's main thing. Fair enough. Can you two Dynamax after Mega Evolving? Probably not. Even a child like me can see that. Why can't you? Oh, there is? Neat. I'll probably do that off-stream, honestly, because we're already running low on time this stream. How dare you say that? You have no idea what we've been through- I suppose you've gotten strong enough to back up that argument, have you? Yeah. Of course. While you all were pretending to be friends, I was busy training. I can take care of this all by myself. This is how it should have been from the start. Sorry, Travis, not today. <laughs> I'm a little short on time today. I should have, uh, honestly, I was planning on going live this morning, but um, I had um, other things that came up, uh, so I wasn't able to do that. We'll settle this once and for all, old man. Ho oh, oh versus Dynamax. No, oh, come on. Well, I guess we're going to wait until part two. Last time we left off, uh, Silver was about to face off against Dear Old Daddy with his Ho Oh. As your friend. Alright, I'm actually going to read off of uh, my big screen. Oh, we got Faulkner, Professor Bellis. I I never remember what voice I give Professor Bellis. It drives me insane. Um, we have Jasmine. Excuse me, moi. How is everything outside? Hmm. Well, we still have no idea when the next Dynamax Pokemon will appear. Hmm. We've got gym leaders spread out and waiting just in case we have to jump in to help. Hmm. But, but we can't stop what's causing all of these problems until Lance and Silver's group takes down Giovanni. I hope they're okay. It is Giovanni we're talking about. Yeah, I know. He, he annihilated us last time. Oh, boy. Yeah, and Silver doesn't seem to be fond of working in teams either. Sure thing. Uh, well, check on them. Probably Ethan, Lyra, and Chris. Yeah, here we go. Huh? Oh, your outfits. <laughs> what do you think? We got ourselves some sicknesses. We also have new partner Pokémon, too! We're turning over a new leaf, so to speak! Play. We're counting on you, but remember, you'll be dealing with a very difficult opponent! Yeah, Yeah, we know! But no matter what, we're still gonna go! Because we want to help our friend! Okay! Yeah, and we won't let Team Rocket get away with anything here on Paseo! Hope you're ready! We're on our way, Silver! This is sick. Alright. So, um, we didn't actually see the end of the battle between Silver and Giovanni, so are they here? There are some signs that a pretty intense battle happened here! Hey! Look! Over there! Where is Silver and Giovanni? Um... What happened? Yeah? Oh, Ethan. It turns out Giovanni can now make his Pokémon Dynamax. Yeah, you know. I tried to take him on with Karen and Morty, but he got us. And then Silver came and challenged him to a battle, but... Boom, boom! Are we finally going to see the ending to this fight? Because hypothetically, Silver has a pretty big advantage. Unless Giovanni does that! <laughs> Well! Ripperoni! <laughs> I now wield the power of Mega Evolution and Dynamax. You're no match for me. No! We're not done yet! We can still. Ugh. Well, that didn't go too well, now did it, Silver? What? You're not going to challenge me again. 
Hmm, I see. You're unwilling to overwork your Pokémon that's already been hurt in battle. <laughs> that's the end of that, then. I'll be on my way. Hey! Where do you think you're going? Yeah. I still haven't personally met the owner of Passio. Are we about to have Lear versus Giovanni? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I'd like to pay him a visit very soon. But of course, I can't go empty-handed. I have a few things to prepare. <laughs> oh no. Wait! So that means- Yeah? Yeah. He must be talking about Lear. His plan is to take over Passio. And he intends to do that just by taking over the guy who runs it? Let's regroup and prepare. They won't be able to do anything right away. Hmm. I hope Silver's okay. Oh, well, he's just been moping, hasn't he? Oh, whoa. <laughs> he's, he's, he's moping. He, uh, he shut himself in his room and he decided, it's not a phase. I want to make him feel better, but what do I even say? I'm sure he already knows all about his own shortcomings and what he needs to do. All we can do is wait until he takes his next step. Would you do me a favor? That's why you all should stick with him until he's ready. <laughs> he's not always honest with himself, but he thinks highly of you all. How lovely. There's nothing more reassuring than knowing you have friends who've got your back. Oh, Well, I guess Silver got uh, completely rocked, didn't he? Oh, we're challenging Archer! Yay! Okay, um... A ground-type team? Yeah, sure. Archer and Ariana and Petrol. Like, what type of voice is that for Archer? No, 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 no. Alright, Mega Kick. Honestly, I should have hit World of Pain first, but whatever. Alright, we'll do that. We'll do Max Move. Boom. And then we'll Mega Kick. At your earliest convenience, thank you. There we go. Alright, cool. Team Rocket will never fall. Sigma Suit Giovanni is busted, man. Busted. B to the Usted. Completely overpowered. It's kind of ridiculous. Alright. In my heart That sounds like the title of a cheesy love song Anyway I hope Silver's not too bummed about what happened Yeah, it seems like he was really set on beating Giovanni It was probably devastating to lose to someone he really wanted to beat I'm sure he's okay Huh? Oh, look over there! What? Oh, Silver's chatting with Bryce. <laughs> You've got an impressive amount of skill, and at such a young age. <laughs> and I can tell your Pokémon has a great deal of trust in you as a trainer. Hello, Busy Cola! Welcome on in! How are you today? However, hey, Silver, there you are. Looks over there. <laughs> yeah, doing all right. All right, great to hear. Thanks so much for popping by. I'm doing good. I'm doing uh, significantly better. Um, we're up in here. We're fight facing Team Rocket. Um, I am still technically on hiatus, but I was. I kind of wanted to stream because I wanted to have fun today. 
because I like fun. I was like, I need a break from all the all the all the work, all the nonsense. So I decided, hey, let's go live. Let's have some fun. You know? What do you want? Um. We wanted to ask you something while Lance and the others are letting their Pokemon rest up. Hey. Why don't you come with us to Battle Team Rocket? <laughs> Sorry, the way Lyra said that, it's like, hey, it's like, hey, you want to hang out? Like, ah, uh, you're preparing for trouble. And boy, I hear you're making it double. Yeah, we certainly are. I love how the way Lyra says this, it makes it sound like, um, like just casually, hey, are you free later today? I, I was thinking, like, let's go, like, go for smoothies. Maybe, like, you know, go for a drive, you know. Uh, see the sights. Um, let's go also, like, kind of battle the Mafia. Let's do that, too. I'm, I'm kind of feeling it, you know? I haven't played Pokemon since I was a kid, and I still remember that. It's iconic. It's iconic, isn't it? No. I already told you. I hate teaming up. But! Hey. It's impossible to fight through life without ever getting any help, though. Hey. Just now, you were training with Price. Doesn't that count as him helping you out? Oh, thank you so much for shouting out Busy Cola. I can't, I cannot, I can't believe I completely forgot to say that. Um, please head on over and check out Busy. Last seen doing some good old Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Head on over and check them out. If you haven't already, drop a follow, drop some bits, drop a sub. Do what you can to show that classic patented GS ball love and support. A lot of people have been playing Zelda lately, and I'm all for it. I am all for it. Would it be so bad to rely on them? You're rushing things, young man. That's what I felt in our battle just now. Pretty good game, it's no Ocarina of Space, but it does good. It goes good. Well, I mean, like, for the time, a lot of people, like, praise Ocarina of Time. Personally, I think, like, it hasn't aged as well as it could have, but it's still a really, really, really solid game. And a lot of, uh, a lot of, you know, adventure tropes, uh came from Ocarina of Time, so I, I think it's a I, I think it's a solid game that deserves all the love that it gets. You're frustrated because the ideal you pursue is still out of reach, so you're hungry to overcome your shortcomings. N64 camera controls age like a fine milk. Ah, great! But in order to move forward, aren't there some obstacles you can't overcome alone? Um... Come on, Silver! We just want to help you out! Yeah. Yeah. I know you want that one-on-one -on -one rematch with Giovanni. <laughs> but in order to get to that point, we've got to battle through the rest of Team Rocket together! <laughs> you don't know what I'm feeling. Hey. This is my problem. Leave me alone. No. No way! What? what? <laughs> wow, that was kind of pushy, Ethan. <laughs> Ethan just snapped. Um, like, stop being emo! Because <laughs> we're friends! Oh, we have the emotional music coming in. Even though you can't even tell what's in my heart. Yeah. yeah, after all, what you feel in your heart are your feelings. But I do know that we both want to take down Giovanni, right? Come on! You're always so persistent. Even back in Johto, you kept showing up before me, time and time again, and so many times I lost to you. Because of that, I... Aww. Look at you! You formed bonds! Don't lie to me, Silver. You have a whole team of Pokémon that are just like, that love you. You ain't alone. You don't gotta be an island, Silver. You know what? Fine. But only until we get to- Whoa, excuse me. But only until we get to Giovanni. What? Really? Hey. But don't you dare interfere in my battle with him. If you do, I won't hesitate to take you down first. Ooh. <laughs> sure thing. Gotcha! I won't! I really hope, uh, I really hope Silver gets a sick suit. <laughs> Silver, of all people, deserves a signature. suit. Yeah. I appreciate your advice. <laughs> You're quite welcome. Stay sharp out there. You never know just how long you have until the friends you've shared aspirations with aren't around anymore. Words to live by, Price. That's, a, that's also a nice nod to, like, the manga, where, like, that was his whole motivation. 
What do you mean by that? Hmm. Oh, just a bit of life advice from an old man. As you say, we can't tell exactly what others are feeling in their hearts. But that's exactly why it's a very precious thing to have friends who care about you and stay by your side no matter what. Price! <laughs> you never know what could happen. Such is life. Whew, that hits a little too close to home right now! <laughs> I hope the connection between you all lasts for a very long time. Ring ring! Really? What? Uh, okay, we'll head back right away! Um... Heads up everyone! Team Rocket is on the move! That was very convenient. It was very nice of Team Rocket to wait until we were done with uh, Silver's character uh, character moment in order to actually attack, right? Alright, challenge Archer Part 3. Should be an easy clap. Blow the pain. Max Quake at your earliest convenience. Da, na, 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 na. There we go. Mega kick. Mega kick. I am. S I I really hope we get the Team Rocket executives as playable characters in this game. Like I really hope we get all the admins of all the teams as playable characters. I feel like there's a lot of potential for um good poison type units um in the in um the admins right you could really really showcase the power of poison types also one of my eggs are is hatching i want a shiny spiro please shiny spiro i got a far fetched that's fine hearts aligned hearts on fire sorry that's Rocky 4, right? That song? That's what that's what that's from? Well, <laughs> I think the Team Rocket has uh, overrun the Battle Villa. Whoa! They've already made their way to Lear's Manor! Um, excuse me? Uh, actually, we led them here on purpose? Whoa! Whitney and Bugsy! <laughs> I can't remember the last time you were actually an important part of a story. Bugsy! And Whitney, too? If we battle outside, we run the risk of putting other sync pairs in danger. So we decided to bring the battle inside. After all, we have the home field advantage here. Not necessarily, but okay. I see. To be honest though, we're kind of struggling since they're coming at us with so many people. Yeah. Then we've got to hurry and take down Giovanni. Not another step. Uh, not so fast. We won't allow you to meddle in our affairs. Which of the executives is it? Uh, Proton and Petrol. Whoa! Hey. Sheesh, you don't gotta be so surprised. We're not ghosts. <sighs> Unfortunately, we can't let you go any farther any further. We'll do anything to buy our great boss Giovanni some time to achieve his ambitions. <laughs> there they go again, coming at us with hordes of weaklings. How annoying. Right. We'll take him on! You all go on ahead! We can take care of this! <laughs> well, well, aren't you the excited one? Aww. I'm not excited! I'm upset at you, Meanies! Cut that out! I remember what you did in Golden Round City! Meanie! I heard from. <laughs> Bugsy's voice line just straight up goes, Meanie! <laughs> I heard from Kurt about all the awful things you did to Slowpoke! You should be ashamed of yourselves! <laughs> I was wondering who you were. You're that kid from Azalea Town. Thanks, you two. We're counting on you. But. There are way too many of them for just two trainers to take down. Then how about two more join the fray? Who are these? Two more. Two more sink bears? Oh, here we go! Lance, are you and your Pokemon okay now? Yeah. Yeah, we're fine, thanks to you. Whoa, my computer is notifying me at the worst possible time of something. We're fine, thanks to you. 
Never fear, the strongest pair of Dragon Masters from Blackthorn City is here. You're in good hands. Bum bum ba na 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 A champion and another gym leader. Fine by me. Don't expect any mercy. I couldn't ask for better opponents. Let's do this. I think we've seen like all the gym leaders at this point. Aside from like hang on. So we've seen um we saw Faulkner, Bugsy. Chuck's not in the game. Uh, we saw Whitney. Uh, we saw Morty. We saw Price. We saw Claire. I'm missing someone. We saw Jasmine. All right. We've seen like all seven gym leaders at this point in Johto, uh, at least that are in the game. Thanks to Whitney and Boxy, we've gotten this far without a hitch. Yeah. Yeah, but there's still a ways to go. What about uh, Elite Four members? We have not seen Bruno. We saw Karen. Koga was in the last one. Um, and we saw, we, did, we haven't seen Will. I don't think we've seen Will yet. There should be four Team Rocket executives, which means that leaves Archer and Ariana. Bring it. Let's finish this. Hold it right there. There's Ariana. I guess Archer is going to be like the last obstacle before Giovanni. Oh. I knew it wasn't going to be that easy. Hey. Of course not. We can't let brats like you do as you please forever. Absolutely unacceptable. It'll hurt Team Rocket's pride over and over again, making it less than you see. Ugh. The only ones getting hurt here are Pokemon, so are we gonna confirm here is Ariana Silver's mother? I'm curious. I can't believe you forced Pokemon to Dynamax without even considering their feelings. That reminds me, Chris was part of the uh, Dynamax, uh, the first uh, Dynamax story with uh, Leon and Eternatus. You don't deserve to even be associated with the idea of being a trainer! Get him, Chris! Strong words! Those are fighting words right there! What are you ta- oh, <laughs> the eyebrow raise. I keep interrupting, but like, this- this- this dialogue's really, really cool. What are you talking about? Pokémon are simply tools we can use to make money. Who cares about other people's Pokémon anyway? No way! Unbelievable! Ethan, Silver, leave it to us! Yeah. Okay, just don't go too overboard. <laughs> Ethan's like, I know you can, I, I know you have the potential to straight up murder this lady, but hold back a little bit. Give her, give her a fighting chance. I'm not sure I can promise you that. Because we're gonna take her out with everything we've got. Dynamax doesn't actually do anything to the Mon, I thought though. Like the Pokemon itself isn't actually being overgrown into a giant Kaiju, and it was just a projection or something. See? Supposedly, yeah, that's what, um, that's the technical definition of Dynamax, but then you look at some of the Pokedex entries for Dynamax, and it's almost as if the Pokémon is actually, like, physically huge doing damage, right? Not to mention, like, in the games, when you have a Dynamax Pokémon, like, outside of battle, like, when Leon takes on the Dynamax Pokémon, it's almost as if it actually is doing the damage, right? So it's like, it's iffy, the definition of Dynamax, and like, the, the, it's, it's, it, it, it's not completely thought out, if we're being honest. We got a Celebi in chat! Boom, bomb, 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 and a Suicune. This is Pokemon Forever right here. This is the fourth Pokemon movie. It seems really money and they need it here to be actually blowing up the mons. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Aren't you just using your Pokémon as tools for battle yourselves? What's so different about you and us? Um, we became Pokémon trainers because we love Pokémon! If we didn't love them so much, we wouldn't spend so many hours searching high and low in the tall grass for them, and running after the Suicune, Entei, and Raikou, like, <laughs> chasing them all over the region because they're dumb! <laughs> we love Pokémon, which is why no matter what kind of troubles we go through to meet them, the those memories shine the brightest! Yeah. There's no way we'll lose to someone like you, who's forgotten what that feels like! Okay. Let's go, Lyra! Mm -hmm. Yeah, was that a hint towards Let's Go Johto? <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, we'll show you how strong our bonds with our Pokémon can be! 
Alright, I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> this is one of my favorite trainer battles in the game. Alright, we're challenging Archer once again. Alright, we'll go. <laughs> I just noticed Jesse says twerp. I love that. Max Quake, Max Quake. There we go. And we'll go Mega Kick. Mega Kick onto the Arbok. Mega Kick onto the Weezing. There we go. Problem solved. Hmm. Hmm. Team Rocket will never fall. I feel like I really should have like gone through this ahead of time and gone through the battles uh, ahead of time so that we could, we could just cut straight to the story, but oh well. Battle against evil! Oh, here we go, chat. This is it. We still haven't seen Archer yet. Archer and Giovanni. Uh, <laughs> hey! No, you... <laughs> You can't- you can't double team Lear? <laughs> That's not fair! <laughs> I wonder, is Giovanni capable of Mega Evolving and Dynamaxing at the same time? Is that a thing a trainer can do? <laughs> it's over now. I must say, I'm impressed. It took much longer than anticipated to wear you down. Even in that form, Hoopa performed beyond my expectations. Have you not seen Cygnus suit Giovanni, Ima? <laughs> also, is Giovanni hinting at Unbound Hoopa? Because I am I really want Unbound Hoopa already. It uses its ability to warp space and call humans and Pokémon to a place of its liking. Like, seriously, that is so... In it? Like, Giovanni is straight-up Mafia drip. <laughs> How very useful for my schemes. Also, chat, um, I recently, um, I got this for my birthday. I got this for my birthday. What? Hang on. Camera needs to focus. Alright, camera's focusing on me. I need, I need it to focus, like, on Giovanni. Hello? It's not focusing. Like, can you focus on... It won't focus! Alright, that's annoying. I guess... The webcam doesn't have autofocus, but like it's a uh, this is a very nice it's a very cool like Giovanni figure. It's sick, super super sick. Anyway, Hoopa, man, I cannot imagine what must be going through Lear's head right now. Um, oh, fart. We did it, boss. Passio has finally fallen into the hands of Team Rocket. Um, he doesn't want his face flashed all over the internet. He is a crime boss. Yeah, well, too bad, so sad. <laughs> He's the eighth gym leader for crying out loud. I wonder. Just because we've taken down its owner doesn't mean the job is complete. There are still many sick pairs on Passio with hope in their eyes. Like those two. I love the confidence that Giovanni, like, approaches everything with. On another note, that hat makes me wonder if his fave po uh, mod is Persian or Nido King. I see some jealousy in the ranks. Yeah, I know, right? He does have a Persian in this game, because he, he at one point he battles someone with a Persian. So he has Persian um, Nido King, which is capable of Dynamax. Dino- Did I just say Dynamax? <laughs> this doofus right here just said Dynamax. It's a Nido King, so it makes sense. Specifically for Nido King, Dynamax is Dynamax. <laughs> well, well, you finally made it this far. You must be extremely talented sync bears. Um, I'll take care of that executive, Silver. So you? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Hope you're ready. Hey, you! I'll take you on! I'll make sure you're punished for what you've done, just like at that time at the radio tower! 
<sighs> Even at a time like this, you still insist on taking the high road and having a one-on-one -on -one battle with me? You obviously have no idea who you're dealing with. Silver, don't forget! We may all be fighting our own battles, but our hearts will always be together! Don't worry, we can win! <laughs> Silver's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. How childish. What? You still insist on battling on your own in a situation like this. Hold it. I'll never be like you. I'll surpass you. Very well. Fine. Then I'll take you on. One second. Thought I heard something. Huh. Must just be... I think it's just my imagination. No, it's probably my imagination. Thought I heard it again. One second, goody two shoes. Sorry about that, chat. Uh, we are back. Did I? Uh, we are back. <clears throat> there was, um... Can you hear me? Hi, Tiali! What's up? There was a bit of an issue um, with uh, one of our kitchen appliances, and I uh, just wanted to double-check to make sure uh, everything was safe. Can we have an exclamation point, Tiali? You know what? I'll do it myself. Let's have an exclamation point, Tiali. Right there. For those of you who are not following Tiali, the uh, Dragon Down Under, the uh, Persona Princess, please head on over and check her out. If you haven't already, drop a follow, drop some bits, drop a sub. Do what you can to show the classic patented GS Ball Love and Support. What were you up to, Tiali? I noticed you went live earlier. Two Morty, one Ethan, and one Chris. Very, very nice, Duck Game. Which of the five recent units did you get? I actually have all of them at the moment. I have uh, one Ethan, I have um, two Lyras, I have one Chris, I have three Giovannis, and I have one Morty. Add Justice UK back, cut you off. I'm so sorry. So, to answer your question, I have two Lyras, I have one Ethan, I have one Chris, I have three Giovannis, and I have one Morty. Does that answer your question, I hope? <laughs> so, sorry about that, Goody Two Shoes. We're back. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, you probably saw, like, a, a cut. Because I'm actually able to edit my own videos now. <laughs> and it's fun. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to resort to uh, scout points for Ethan and Lyra, though. That... <laughs> so, was there a Rick to your Morty? There is a Rick to my Morty, actually, Ima. It's, um... Um... He's... The, this Rick is no stranger to love. He knows the rules. And so do I. Um... I'll teach... <coughs> One second. I gotta get back in the zone. Gen 9 added gym leader named Rick. And then have it... Have him have Pokemon that know exclusively roll out. <laughs> I'll teach you a lesson about just how cool the world can be. That's my job as an adult. Let's see how good you are. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, Athena. Something I find interesting. Are we really going two v two right now? Two v one right now? Boom, boom, boom. This is not fair. Giovanni's cheating. Like, Nido King by it itself was able to take out Ho Oh pretty easily. Who? Okay. What? Lugia, 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 Lugia! Uh, something I find interesting, I always thought Giovanni's piece on uh, his hat, I thought it was like cards or something, but no, that's Nido King's ear. 
<laughs> you thought it was cards or something because probably it looks like a little bit like uh, the Mad Hatter's hat where he has that like card in his uh, in his hat that shows like the date. Game over. I love how I hit my keyboard as if um, that was going to like progress the story. Yeah, Lugia, here we go. Oh man, here we go, Lugia and Ho-Oh together! Forgive me. I, I'm so sorry, boss. Man, Ethan wiped the floor with Archer like easily. Archer didn't stand a chance. So that's why you were asking. Chillin' Ray, congrats on 400. Thank you so much, Blue Bella Buddy. Welcome on in. Tiali, thank you so much for the raid. And one more, one more big shout out for our dear Tiali, the Persona Princess herself, whom is, who is a part of the Chill In, um, a team who I, which I am also a part of. Um, so please head on over and check her out if you haven't already. Project Kaito, thank you so much for uh, popping on in as well. Um, I, of course, it's my pleasure. I couldn't resist my sweet go live. Thank you all so much. How was your stream? I uh, wasn't able to pop in. I wh what exactly were you doing, Tiali? This is an amazing, amazing track, chat. Like this, this, this track is one of my favorites in the game. Like this battle theme right here. And thank you so much. <laughs> exclamation point guide. Ah uh, yes. Um, for those of you who are new here. My name is Guide Sorcery. I play a lot of Pokemon on this channel, uh, spe specifically a lot of Pokemon Masters, but I intend on branching out a little bit. Um, we recently hit 400 followers and we will be hosting a big 400 follower celebration 12 hour cosplay roleplay stream for a game that I've been anticipating for a long time. That will be occurring later this month. Bella, thank you so much for following. I love your energy. Thank you so much. I'm glad that you enjoy it. Um, I hope that you stick around. Um, I hope that you like what you see. Guide is a wonderful human. You, too, you do me too much honor, Tiali. It was really chill, no pun intended. Play started with Busy, and then I just did some level grinding on Fire Emblem. Ah, pretty neat. Very neat. Um, we are currently in the middle of a battle with Giovanni, the self-proclaimed greatest trainer, and his lackeys. Um... And the man looks like a the man looks like a mafia boss. Like the man is the man is wild. <laughs> How pathetic. In the end, you had to rely on your little friend to save you. You can't do anything on your own. Oh, Silver. Sorry. Sorry, Silver. I really was gonna stand back, but we also have to make sure we win for the people of Passio. <laughs> no, no, don't do this to me, Tiala. You're gonna, you're gonna inflate my ego to the point where like I won't be able to fit it through the door. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm on the field. We have actual voice actors in the Goody Two Shoes, and I'm like, I feel really awkward calling myself a voice actor in their presence. <laughs> But I'm telling the truth. I, <laughs> Thank you, Tiali. I appreciate your compliment. You do. You give me too much credit. <laughs> Thanks, Ethan. Hey. I would have lost if you weren't here. Same goes for everyone else. Without you all, I couldn't have gotten this far. That's the truth, and I have to accept that as the limit of what I can do. I know if you talk to Mafia Giovanni in the Pokemon Center, he has the chance to explain why he wears this outfit. He literally just says, I just like hats. <laughs> Why? I, how have I not come across that, uh, that, that dialogue option yet? Throw back to Ace Attorney voices. I still, I do plan on continuing that eventually. I just like have not had the time recently. Was not expecting the VA skills. <laughs> I'm not an, I'm not, I, 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 we have actual voice actors in the Goody Two Shoes. So I'm like, to call myself a voice actor in their presence is like, I hate being weak. Silver. <laughs> oh? You're right. As I am now, I still can't beat you on my own. But we can't afford to lose, because the people of Passio need us to win. 
So really, this isn't just my battle. You're going down. This is a battle to take down Team Rocket once and for all. I bet they'd say you're great at changing your voice and accent. I guess I am good at that. Um, Tiali, by the way, if you need to do your post-stream self-care, please feel free. I know it's rather late in your time zone, so if you need to, if you're feeling tired, if you need to hit the hay, if you need to grab something to eat, something to drink, please feel free to do so. Again, Giovanni doesn't even say Silver's his, uh, his nephew. That's because Silver's his son. I have to voice act on Sunday and I'm scared. Oh, is that so? Guy, Toby calls himself a voice actor and hasn't voice acted in like three years, so he can call himself a voice actor without any problem. <laughs> Fair enough. Actually, yeah, I should sleep. Yeah, I, I, I... Thank you so much for the raid, Tiali, and thank you so much for sharing your community with me, for entrusting me with the... with the chillin', with all of your viewers. Um, I really, really appreciate it. I got carried away. I mean, you do what you need to do, Tiali. If you want to stick around, you're more than welcome to do so. Um, if you feel that you need to sleep, you're more than welcome to do so as well. Like, thank you so much for popping on by, but please remember to take care of yourself. I'm only letting this happen once. Next time, I'll definitely beat you on my own. <laughs> you're too kind. You're too kind. Your eyes finally have the look of an adult. Okay. Let's do this, Ethan. The two of us can take him down. Yeah, there's no way we'll lose if we're together. Lugia and Ho-Oh, our combined power. You don't stand a chance, Giovanni. Well then, perhaps I should get a little more serious about this too. Shall we begin? Witness this power. It is the power I possess as the leader of Team Rocket. Bum, 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 bum. Silver has a pretty, pretty sick theme too. Challenge Signature! Oh no, we cannot. We are not. We have to do a story team for this. Um, we have to do a. We cannot rush this. Um, let's see here. Um, um, um. Let's take this team. Oh, wait, no. Not that team. Where is it? Let's take this team right here, my Johto team, and we'll, uh... 2v2ing with Ethan and Silver? What an idea, Hatina. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, Chris is gonna go bye-bye. And then... Clear... Region... Johto. And then we'll replace Lyra with there you are. Let's see what you're made of. Uh, which of them has special defense? Um, the higher special defense. Okay. Silver has a higher special defense. Um, sync pairs in the center position cannot be moved. Let's actually let's switch these two then, so that Silver can get the spotlight. Um, tactics. Silver will get, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll have him aim at Silver first. All right. Let's do this. Boom, boom. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da Let's take him down, goody two shoes. I'll crush you. Why do we, was that a, oh, we're leading, whoa, we're leading with Mewtwo. Okay. Uh, fart. I'll show you. This is it. Done. Why is he sinking right away? Stop it! Stop this! This is not okay! Is he gonna mega evolve Mewtwo? Is that what he's about to do? Can you handle this? Yes! I can't handle this! Stop being a doofus! You need to stop! This happened last time with face World Domination Side Strike with the Sigma Suit! Wow! Okay! Giovanni's just like arrogant as sin, evidently. All right, let's go a uh, uh, secret spot of fire while we boost uh, we boost Ethan's uh, special attack. Oh boy! Why do you know Thunderbolt? I can help. Do it. Now's our chance. Uh, hurry up! Oh my gosh, this team is so slow! 
Aeroblast, please, hurry! <laughs> okay. Actually, I'm gonna, hang on, I'm gonna wait to sink. Wait! Okay! Alright! <laughs> okay! So... If he has the attack power that he has in the... Oh my god! Alright, we gotta, we gotta move! We gotta move! <laughs> Power Hungry Sacred Fire! Silver, please! Please! Oh my gosh! I see Nido King still has the insane amount of attack power that he had. Oh wow, that did definitely squat. Uh. Hurry up! Oh, I should have. Oh! That did a great deal, actually. Please! Oh my god, you're s stressing me out so much right now. I really do not want Silver to die. Mm. But he, the sun is up, which is which is a good sign. It means we can, uh... Please! 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 Oh my gosh! I did not want to lose Silver. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh. Why did I agree to this, Atina? You're right, they finally- oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> I'm glad we were able to get the sun out. We would not have been able to do that, like, with that team. It wasn't that bad. It was not that bad, but like, the two sync pair limit that you put me on, Hathena, made it like- I'm so used to having three and being able to use three. Like, these two were slow as molasses, dude. Um, endings and beginnings. But I just did not want to lose silver. Like, if anyone was gonna... Oh, we're doing, like, the OG Giovanni thing. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, right. Mega Evolve Mewtwo. Let's go. Lugia's like, no! And Mewtwo's like, yes! Ah, this guy's just too strong! I didn't want to believe there was still such a huge gap between us. I hate this. Hey. Boss, it's about time. I suppose we've spent too much time here. Unfortunately, your time is up. No, My time watch. is now. <gasps> we've got you now, Giovanni! International Police! Looker, here we go! Whoa, Looker! Oh, and even Paolo and Guide are here! Hi! Um, I'm just now making an appearance. <laughs> Read carefully here, by the way. Okay. My apologies. Sorry that we kept you waiting. We aided the Team Rock and infiltrated Leah's manor, so we went around to gather forces, but it took a bit longer than expected. Okay. The other sick pairs are on their way! It doesn't matter how strong you are, there's no way you can take on all the sync pairs of Passio. Literally everyone. Literally all the sync pairs of Passio. Like, literally everyone is on their way here. <laughs> ring ring! Paul who? Paulo. Did I miss it? It's me. Did I miss it? Who's Paulo? My apologies. What do you mean, who's Paulo? Paulo's the uh, Paulo's the rival. The the dude who's like tempted to the dark side. Paul who? Who's Paul? Oh 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 oh. Okay okay. <laughs> right. Right, because he barely did anything in the PML arc, right? Sir, I'm so sorry! The gym leaders and the champion are headed your way! Yes! 
must send out anyone who can still fight. Oh, you about to get rocked. What do you think you're doing? Who are you? Wow! Bruno kills a child. <laughs> hey, you. Giovanni, can you hear me? It's Bruno of the Elite Four. Chalk and talk! Is Chuck confirmed? Chuck confirmed? Chuck confirmed. Chuck confirmed, chat. Chuck confirmed. Hey, Ima, do you remember Chuck? <laughs> Oh man, I jumped up so hard, so fast, I bumped my foot on my chair. <sighs> hey, Ima, you remember Chuck? <laughs> Ima, if you. So, for those of you who uh, don't get the inside joke, when Ima Kuni 2003 did her Heart Gold Soul Silver Nuzlocke, she wiped to Chuck. It was bad. <laughs> you can say it was. A Chuck scare! I am not dabbing. I was tempted to dab there, but I'm not dabbing. Yo, who's who 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 does Chuck get paired up with? Like who's Chuck's um who's Ch who who's uh, Chuck's partner? I I want to say like either Primeape or Hitmonchan. Probably not Hitmonchan. I want to say Primeape. Primeape probably. I want to say. Chuck and I took down all your underlings. How far do you think you'll get against gym leaders and the Elite Four? Ooh -ha! I knew I was gonna say it. <laughs> Bruno cannot go two sentences without saying hoo ha at some point. <laughs> I'll have a double cheeseburger with no lettuce and fries. Hoo ha! <laughs> <laughs> I love you, and I want you to marry me. Hoo-ha! <laughs> Sorry. It's about time I took my leave. I've had a very fruitful time here. After battling you, I know exactly what kind of force I need to completely control Passio. And over the past few days, I've seen a fair number of things that sparked my interest. From trainers who insist on battling alone, to those who seek pure strength, no matter the method. Don't stop looking at Paolo. Stop tempting him to the dark side. Not bad. There are a number of children here who already have eyes that look like an adult's. <laughs> Passio is an interesting place indeed. Hold it. You think you're getting away? <laughs> <laughs> I am always prepared. I constantly think a few steps ahead of my opponents, and plan contingencies just in case. Oh no, don't you even tell that, don't stop, no, no, don't teleport. Giovanni, Archer, I've come to fetch you. Huh? And Abra, wait a second. Farewell. Farewell. <laughs> I look forward to the day we battle again. Wow! Giovanni broke the first rule of trainer battles. You cannot run from a trainer battle. You were the protagonist! You were supposed to fight Team Rocket, not join them! <laughs> you were supposed to bring balance to Passio, not leave it in darkness! You were my brother. you were my rival, Paolo! I don't- I didn't remember you! <laughs> ah. Coward! Oh. Giovanni, he really was a tough opponent. Mm. We can't beat him as we are now. We've got to get stronger. Good job, everyone. I'm just glad you all got back safely. But Giovanni got away. He learned his lesson after what happened in Johto, but he hasn't changed a bit. Hang on, are we uh, are we confirming that the Celebi event in uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver 
actually happened? Yes? I suppose, but with this incident, Team Rockin has ta taken a fairly big blow. After trying so hard to take over Passio and failing, they'll probably want to lie low for a while. It would be great if it turned out to be that simple. But Giovanni didn't have a hand in what ha in the what happened two years later with Johto. Wait, no, he did because he heard his um. He heard his uh, he heard the call right. He heard the call from the radio tower and went to go help them. But uh, Ethan Lyra Ethan or Lyra stopped him because they went back in time. Blech, I'm getting my timelines mixed up. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm done teaming up. Next time, I'm going to make sure I've obtained real strength. I'll be strong enough to fight my battles on my own. So you'd better be ready, Ethan, because I'll be taking you down first. What? I mean, you're rivals. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. What did you expect? We're rivals, aren't we? Oh, I see! Oh, for a second I thought you had it out for me or something! <laughs> yeah. Gotcha! Um... I, uh... I hope this means we've gotten a little closer with Silver! I can't read that, man! Sometimes he says, like, I hate you, and it actually means, like, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on! You've been getting along fine for a while now! He did it in the shadows. The admins were the ones trying to find Giovanni, but failed to do so. So the Celebi event had you find where Giovanni was, where he said he wants to keep down low until the time strikes. Then Passio happens. I am curious, because, like, supposedly this is, like, Rainbow Rocket Giovanni, right? So, timeline-wise, if we're confirming that this Giovanni was the same Giovanni in Heart Gold Soul Silver, we're also confirming this Giovanni is also Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon Giovanni. So, does Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, like, suppose Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon Giovanni can already mega evolve uh, Mega Mewtwo Y, which is why I feel like Ultra the events of, um, like, the. But that wouldn't make any sense. Because Lusamine's already gone through her character arc, right? Or the alternate timeline, Rainbow Rocket. I am done trying to figure out Pokemon timelines. Let's just keep going. Yes, I know there's two timelines and it ticks me off. That like it ticks me off that there are two timelines. Anyway. Especially when it comes to Pokemon Masters, because like it's it, it's so difficult to keep track of who's from which timeline. Because like we confirm things from both timelines. Hey, just be glad it's not Zelda. No, I don't. I let don't even get me started on Zelda's timeline. I do not like the idea of multiple timelines, like anywhere. Like it honestly kind of annoys me. Like what ifs, you know, um, multiple universes, multiple different versions of characters. That's fine. You know, I can I can handle that. Like it, it's fun to explore what things could have been. But when you create different timelines to justify inconsistencies between different parts of your story, the different parts of your world, that annoys me. It feels like such a cop-out and it makes it so like, I don't know, different timelines really grinds my gears, man. It grinds my gears so much. Um, now is it, is it, is it, this, is it like better when, uh, for example, Kingdom Hearts, you know, they make everything in one timeline and they make everything happen, like, everything, all the side games are canon. Is it better? I don't know, like, because then you'd have to stretch some stuff, but at least you're still, like, you're, you're at least trying to make it connect. Pokemon Adventures does the same thing, where it does a lot better than Kingdom Hearts, actually, where they make things connect that weren't previously connected, and they do it without having to rely on multiple timelines, you know? Basically, the canon I'm thinking is that Casio takes place before Rainbow Rocket and uh, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Because Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon has him already teaming up with everyone, yes. Um, but, um, in the uh, Getsis story, right, Giovanni says, I already have experience with you, Getsis. Um, and I'm not making the same mistake I did with, uh, I'm not making the same mistake I did back then. Um, which makes me think Ultra Sun Ultra Moon already has happened. So it's 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 just I don't know, man. I'm I'm I can't figure out timelines in this game. Yeah. There isn't just one way to be friends with someone, you know. 
being rivals is really great too. Sorry that for the long rant. I feel like I took up 10 whole minutes just like ranting about timelines. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the Team Rocket hideout. Which we already know the location of, so. I'm so sorry, boss. Even though we were with you, we... No matter. We've completed our initial objective. There are more troublesome sync pairs on Passio than I initially thought. For now, let's retreat and stay in the shadows. We can keep implementing our plans from behind the scenes. By which you mean? There's no need for us to be in the spotlight for every one of our schemes. I have many potential business partners on this island! We got the villain team up already being teased. But isn't there a possibility they try to turn on us? Yeah. If that ever happens, we just have to make it so that those who get in our way get rid of each other instead. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I am excited for the rest of this villain arc. This implies universe next. Jojo, complete! Keep on battling to prepare yourself for future challenges. I... Look, I get the Unova hype. I do. But... I really... I really want Hoenn to be next. Hoenn or Galar? One of the two. Look. Or, or... Because, okay, Hoenn is a bit selfish because I want to see Primal Ground on Primal Kyogre in some way, shape, or form. Um, and we already have the models. I don't think it's Hoenn yet. I know, I'm just saying I want it to be, okay? <laughs> I'm selfish. Unova would be interesting because we could potentially have like Black Kirim, White Kirim. Um, but I kind of want to see Primal Groudon and Primal Kyogre, if that's at all possible. I also want to finally see Leon, uh, Le Leon, Raihan, well, Raihan already. Right, I want to see Leon, Raihan, um, Glor Gloria be able to finally Gigantamax their Pokemon. Kalosa. Volcanion sounds, uh, well, I don't know. Mm. Well, we have Signature Serena with Zygarde, right? Uh, we already have Xerneas and Evil Tall. I feel like Lysander would actually get Mega Gyarados. I, I feel like that's a thing they're they're gonna have Lysander do instead of like, and then potentially uh, rework the uh, rework like some form of ultimate weapon into his plans. Um, I definitely think that Mega Evolution is gonna have a focus when it comes to uh, the Kalos uh, villain arc because I feel like that's the logical step. Uh, we still haven't fully explored why Sync Stones cause Pokémon to Mega Evolve. Um, we've explored a little bit of the Dynamax phenomenon, right? Um, we haven't explored fully Mega Evolution. We haven't even touched Z-Moves. Like, why do Sync Stones allow Pokémon to use Z-Moves? Um, so, it's it's a fascinating concept, and I, I, I feel like I feel like there's... What Pokemon has been doing lately, implementing a different gimmick with each generation. You know, that, that, that thing that everyone, like, is really, like, hating on Pokemon for doing. Um, I feel like Masters has the potential to really redeem that gimmick. That, that, that concept. Zemo's already talked about in Lola arc and Faba appearing. Exactly, exactly. Um, and I'd be interested to see if Colrus actually gets a, has a, has a hand in that.